This is Warnercello. The nightmare of every musician properly is to have a blackout during a live performance and today I'm going to talk about how to avoid that. So I'm not a good person to memorize stuff, to be honest. I often forget names or even my own, but <laughs> no, not always. But yeah, so I found some methods how to secure your memory, like to be really 100% sure that you will not have a blackout, that you will not have this really ugly or really not comfortable moment doing a performance where you suddenly thinking oh no what what i have to play next and then then you don't know what to play and then hopefully after some seconds you will find the way back in into the music um but yeah i experienced this several times and here are my methods how to avoid it But before we diving in into the methods I'm using, I would like to share my personal story about my worst blackout I ever had. So I was 12 years old and it was a German competition for young musicians and it was final round. And during my performance, right in the beginning, like after one minute, I had a blackout. Luckily, it was like a solo piece. so. I was not playing with the piano together, so it was pure cello. And But the worst part was, it was right in the beginning of my performance. That was like 20 minutes long. So I played, suddenly it was like, Ugh. I was even doing this sound like, Ugh. and for two or three seconds, I didn't know what to play next. And it felt like hours and hours. And I think it were maybe five seconds or six, I, I don't know uh, exactly. But the worst part was actually that I was doing the sound of uh, because if I would not have done this, probably nobody really had recognized that because uh, I just was doing a break. <laughs> and after I felt so bad and I just wanted to leave the, the stage, and but I couldn't, I had, still had to play my, my other um, pieces of music. I played just the, the music pieces and I felt so bad and I... Yeah, I just wanted to run off the stage. Actually, I even won this competition. The jury decided to give me the prize somehow. I don't know, but it happened. So a lot of teachers are recommending to do stuff like playing um, your um, music like this and saying the fingering, yeah, like One, two, three. Uh, I, I even cannot demonstrate it, but uh, like something like this. Or even people recommend to write down the, the whole score. I, I would not do anything of this. Uh, to write down the whole score, it's, it's, it's a lot, lot of time you have to put in. And even after that, um, I never felt like I'm more secured now to memorize my my score my music so that's how i would recommend to do it you sit down and you do uh it's called mental practice so you go through your whole piece of music you're going to play mentally without your instrument and actually also without moving any any parts of your body so you're just sitting there and from the beginning until the ending you go through the piece and really fast there will be moments where you are stuck where you feel like oh uh, oh so and that's are the parts which are critical which are properly when you are like in really stressed situation and overthinking uh, it too much these are the moments where it could happen that you will get a, a blackout so what I do next, when I do this mental practice, I immediately mark them in, in my score. And when, when you do this mentally, uh, you don't have to be able to say 
every uh, fingering, every bow stroke. It's more like you just should imagine you would play play this piece without the instrument. So don't focus too much um, to to get every detail. But it's more like yeah, really mentally go through that that piece of music. So the second step would be to use your metronome. That's really important because otherwise you are not forced to speed up your thinking because the issue sometimes is not um, that you will remember what you have to play. The issue is to remember it in the right time. So what I do, especially when I'm t travel, I have actually my headphones and listening to the metronome, often in a slower tempo. And then I'm practicing mentally. I go mentally uh, through the piece of music. And then, yeah, really fast you will realize where are the, the, the phrases where you will stuck, where are the issues. And then I will just look again and repeat it and then speed also speed up the, the, the tempo of the metronome so that in the end you, you are able to go through the whole piece without any mistakes in real time in the tempo you also want to play that piece of music. The great thing about this method is that you're not only training your memory, you're also training yeah, the, the whole piece of music. You know, science already really proved that it doesn't matter if you practice physical, like really with your instrument, or you do it uh, mentally. For your brain, there's not, not a difference. We often have times where we travel around and this time you can use now. So I hope I could help you with this method and maybe you also included it into your practice routine. And yeah, please let me know in the comments what are your tips and methods to memorize your music sheets. Thank you for watching. Click here for the next video.